Hi friends, welcome to Lomedics. In this video, I am going to explain about the subdivision of anatomy. First, what is anatomy? Anatomy is the study of structure. Human anatomy means the science that deals with the structure of human body. That is human anatomy. In Greek, Anatomy, anatomy. Anatomy means to cut up, which means dissection. We cut something, that's why we know the structures. That is anatomy. Now, the subdivision of anatomy. Gross anatomy, living anatomy, surface anatomy, surgical anatomy, microscopic anatomy, developmental anatomy, Radiographic anatomy, comparative anatomy, physical anthropology, applied anatomy, experimental anatomy, and genetics. These are the subdivisions of anatomy. First, gross anatomy. It is also known as cadaveric anatomy or macroscopic anatomy. Study of structure with cadaver. Cadaver means dead body. That is cadaveric anatomy. It can be observed with knack dye. So, it is called gross anatomy. It is the macroscopic level, right? Not a microscope. So, it is called macroscopic anatomy. Gross anatomy is divided into two types. One is regional anatomy. Another one is systemic anatomy. First, what is regional anatomy? We study the anatomy by region wise. That is regional anatomy. For example, in 9 quadrants of abdomen, stomach is located in which region? Epigastric region. That is regional anatomy. Next, systemic anatomy. Systemic anatomy means the study the anatomy by system wise. That is systemic anatomy. For example, the study of skeletal system is called osteology. Study of muscle is called myology. Study of blood vessels are called angiology. Study of nervous system is called neurology. Study of digestive system is called gastroenterology. In digestive system, we study the parts of the digestive system. From mouth to anal cap. It is thus systemic anatomy. Living anatomy. Living anatomy means study of structure of living organism. That is living anatomy, inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation. These are helpful for the study of living organism. Inspection means we look at the body parts. For example, paler and ictus. Palpation, palpation means act of touching body parts and feel the parts. That is palpation. For example, if any tumors are present, we palpate the tumors and swelling in the parts that is palpation percussion means tapping of body parts for example percussion is done in the lung field auscultation auscultation means listening of body sounds that is pulse rate breath sound and abdominal sound these are the auscultations next anatomy is also called as topographic anatomy superficial anatomy and visual anatomy, surface anatomy, which means the study of deeper parts in related to the skin surface, that is surface anatomy, study of deeper parts of the body in related to the skin surface by observation or palpation, this is the surface anatomy, surgical anatomy means study of body parts, tissue and organ for the surgery. That is surgical anatomy. Study of morphological characteristic of tissue and organism of the body as they related to the surgery. That is surgical anatomy. For example, now we should operate the intestine. So, first we made the incision in the skin. First we see the superficial fascia, deep fascia, muscles of abdomen, that is external oblique muscle, internal oblique muscle, transverse muscle, 
transverse talus fascia and peritoneum and the operate the intestine we study the body parts for the surgery that is surgical anatomy microscopic anatomy microscopic anatomy means the study of structure with the help of microscope the name itself give the meaning for example cytology is the study of cell and histology is the study of tissue we study the structure of cells and structure of tissue with the help of microscope this is the microscopic anatomy developmental anatomy we study the development of something that is developmental anatomy for example embryology this is the study of fertilized egg develop into adult form that is the embryology it is important in the medicine why because many structural abnormalities are develop when the error in the development that is developmental anatomy radiographic anatomy radiographic anatomy is the study of structure with the help of x ray ultrasound or ct or any imaging that is the radiographic anatomy study of anatomical structure that is bone or some organs as they visualized by x ray radiography ultrasound or ct this is the radiographic anatomy study of mri cat pet these are the radiographic anatomy mri means magnetic resonance imaging cat means computerized axial topography pet means positron emission tomography these are the radiological imaging it is useful for the observation of the organ system of the body next comparative anatomy we compare the other animal to explain the changes in the human body that is comparative anatomy study of anatomy of the other animals to explain the changes in form of structure and function of different part of human that is comparative anatomy in human they have hands in birds the hand is changed in the form of wings in here the structure and function of the parts is changed physical anthropology it is the study of prehistorical remains and external features of different races and group of peoples that is physical anthropology physical anthropology is deals with the external features and measurement of different races and group of peoples and the study of prehistorical remains that is physical anthropology applied anatomy it deals with the application of anatomical knowledge to the medical and surgical practice it means we apply the anatomical knowledge for the medical practice that is applied anatomy experimental anatomy experimental anatomy is the study of structures with the help of some experiments that is experimental anatomy the study of factors which influences and determine the form structure and function of the different body parts that is experimental anatomy genetics is the study of information present in the genes and chromosomes genetics deals with the study of information present in the chromosomes by hereditary that is genetics overview of subdivision of anatomy gross anatomy that is cadaveric anatomy we study the structure of body by the cadaver living anatomy we study the structure of living organism surface anatomy study of deeper parts with iterated skin surface microscopic anatomy it is a study of structure with the help of microscope developmental anatomy study of development of something radiological anatomy it is the study of structure with the help of radiological imaging comparative anatomy we compare the two organism structures and physical anthropology it is the study of prehistorical remains applied anatomy it is the study of application of anatomical knowledge in the medical practice experimental anatomy we study the structure with the help of experiment genetics is the study of information present in the chromosome 
these are the overview of subdivision of anatomy first in time study of structures with the help of cadaver is called cadaveric anatomy example for developmental anatomy is embryology study of structures with the help of microscope is called microscopic anatomy x-ray ct mri are used in which anatomy that is radiographic anatomy thanks for watching